What if I gave you $100 right now? Pretty good deal, huh? What if I gave you $1,000 right now? Um, you would say it's better, maybe. What if I just gave you things I know? Well, that's fucking more valuable than all the above. That's all, that's like fucking $5 million worth. If I gave you what's in here. Finance gurus are all over TikTok. They want your money and they will spout out whatever fucking bullshit things they have maybe learned or had just read online the second before. Usually they get things incorrect and I have found a Twitter account that goes over a lot of them. So I thought we'd take a look and go through that. Sound fun? TikTok investors, fun account, my roommate linked me it. And I, the reason I wanna do this today is because I just saw a clip of the real Brad Leah. I didn't get to watch it yet, but I can't wait to watch it. So this is a guy who I've covered before as one of the alphas from AlphaCon. And I mean, just looking at this, I'm so ready for this. The level of cap for TikTok views ought to be a felony. So let's jump in with this and let's just fucking click around after that. Jimmy. Thank you both very much for coming in. Let me ask you a question, my friend. Yes. What do you want as a tip? <laughs> no way. He, I mean, whatever he said, it, there's, I mean, that's like, that's a baller thing to say, I guess. That's a baller question to ask. But I mean, what would you even say if you were the waiter? I don't even fucking know. Would you say a million? A lot of money, please. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> what do I want? Well, I mean, of course you got the, like, the obnoxious answer was like a million dollars, right? Mm, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, but that's like, yeah. But whatever you would, uh, whatever you think my service was worth. Which is like probably the right answer. I mean, though, it would be pretty outlandish to literally say a million dollars. But at the same time, Brad Leah has put him in this position. I guess it is up to him. I mean, he asked. I'm not the one to determine that. I give you my, my best service, and then you determine that based on whatever you want it to be. So whatever I want. Whatever you would like, yeah. Whatever All you right. want. All righty. All righty. But thank you both. I like how he acts like that is like such a foreign concept. <laughs> like that's not what he always does when he tips. I mean, it should be about 20 to 25 percent, but you 18 to 25 percent. But you typically do what you want. But he's like, all right. All right. Sure. Whatever I want. All right. One dollar. <laughs> thank you again for coming in. I'll see you around. Appreciate it. And enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So what's he getting? Well, he almost got a million dollars. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's a terrible fucking, that's that, <laughs> no fucking way. What do you mean he almost got a million dollars? He literally said the obnoxious answer would be a million dollars. Did you want him to press? Is that like the lesson here? He should have pressed. He should have been more aggressive actually and been like, I want a million dollars, Bradley. Yes. Write it down. I just gave him a hundred though. Why? Oh, I wonder why. I mean, it's still a great tip, but after saying obnoxiously that he would have given him a million dollars, let's hear his response. Why did he only get a hundred? Because he said, I said, what do you want? And you knew ahead of time that I would have given him any amount that he said. Right. Any amount that he said he would have. I would have. No, I know. I would have given him any amount of money. A hundred billion dollars. I'm writing that check. I will go in debt for this waiter to prove a point. I am that prideful. And he said, I could give you the obnoxious answer, which is a million dollars. But I won't. I'll let you decide. <laughs> The guy's walking back. He's like, what is he feel? Is he talking about me? What the hell? Is he talking about how much to tip me still? <laughs> Walks by like, what the fuck? Which cost him, in this case, $1 million. Well, actually, $999,990 is what it cost him. He, he what? Why? Are you taking away the 100 you already spent? I'm confused. <laughs> 999000 Dude, is he having a stroke trying to figure this out? <laughs> He, it just cost him $999,900. He's only getting 100 Why? Because he thought that answer was obnoxious. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> it obviously is. It's obnoxious to even ask, what do you want me to give you? It's obnoxious to say it's obnoxious to ask for a million dollars? I don't think it adds up. It's just obnoxious to ask for a million dollars. Absolutely. At, my question was simple. What do you want? You Tell me said. what you want. I'd love a million dollar tip. Do you want sex in the back alley? Done. Do you want a newborn puppy? Done. I'm Bradley, I'll make it happen. What do you want as a tip? But let's be honest. I'm quite thankful he didn't. <laughs> no shit, because <laughs> it's 
I'd be down a million dollars right now. This video would have, I would literally be down a million dollars. <laughs> oh my God. So folks, that's what I eat on a regular basis. I highly suggest you find yourself a Fleming's, get yourself a tuna pokey, blue cheese wedge. Okay. New York strip and little berries and cream for dessert. And Food readers, review. if you're watching this, when somebody asks you, what do you want as a tip, say it. And folks, in anything, Whatever you do, you cannot be afraid to ask for what you want, and you can't think it's obnoxious. You gotta think you deserve it. Ask Bro, who the fuck thinks they deserve a million dollars for, for giving you service for food? No, no one should think they deserve that. You shouldn't think that, because you don't. And if it still isn't coming, then get pissed off and demand it. I demand better video quality, Bradley. This is fucking buffering in real time. Let's go back to work. Let's go back to work as I fucking finish my Bloody Mary. <laughs> I had to watch that one. I, that one also on TikTok. I mean, they reposted it here. All right. Well, let's keep going. TikTok investors. Let's not look at the funny ones because some of them, they just try to like do the little fucking bits. I want to look at actual TikTok investors. This guy, I literally see ads for all the time. Just another fucking 21 year old in Miami trying to sell you e-commerce. Let's see. This is a $700 pen. And the reason I bought it, I actually bought three of them. I got one for myself, one for my brother and one for my dad. And the reason I bought it is because one, it feels good to have a $700 pen. And two, most people don't have a $700 pen. And it just is a constant reminder to myself that I'm better than everyone. And that I am just a winner. This is oh. Okay. I thought this was going to like sell me something. He just fucking flexed. He flexed a pen on us. God damn. I thought there was going to be a moral to the story that was a little bit more elevated. <laughs> Gotta be satire. I mean, yeah, this is definitely playing into like, I'm the fucking rich dude. Look at my fucking personality and stuff. But the pen thing is kind of funny because it's not even like, usually they flex cars, things you want, but like even do rich people even want $700 pens or would everyone just look at you like, why would, why would you do that? I'm gonna get right into it. Right now I'm in Panama City, Panama. And you see me here in this video touring a condominium that's being built that I recently purchased. Well, I didn't purchased the entire thing i purchased a portion of it through the blockchain through decentralized financing right so instead right. of me putting up all this money to buy the entire thing and going through escrow and all that goofy shit, i just use web3 to purchase however much that i wanted to and that's it right and right web3 decentralized blockchain real estate right okay keep going and as this property appreciates so will my money it's a smart investment i'm gonna teach y'all if y'all want to learn how to do what i'm doing appreciation down market invest stock up grow return on investment equalize the portfolio diversify i'm with you this is how you get into real estate get involved in real estate without having hundreds of thousands of dollars or even tens of thousands of dollars you can start with something like a hundred dollars all right so just tap in y'all i wish i knew how to fucking tap in dude i you gave no directions where the fuck is the blockchain i can't find it where do i put my money or my bitcoin i don't know how do i make my money bitcoin oh yo is this another guy from AlphaCon? this guy looks like another guy from AlphaCon. or am i just thinking of no, no, this is just fucking one of the main guys. This is one of the big guys. 10X. Who is this? Who is it? Somebody say his name. No one's even saying, say his name. Someone knows it. I think he's a big guy. All right, let's do it. What would it take for you to get $3 billion within six months? How? I don't think they're... You'd have to fucking, I don't know, steal money from the government? Illegal drug trading? Sex trafficking? I don't think that's, I mean, he, all three together, even then, I don't, I don't know how you could answer this. I'd take a hundred million that I have and I'd go to a big institution and say, hey, 10X my 100. That'll be a bill. They'll do that 100%. Why the fuck haven't you already done that? <laughs> If that's a thing, why haven't you done that already? You take your, do it, do, do it. What are you talking about? I take the bill. I told you, he's a 10X guy. He's got on a shirt and he literally, his first advice was, I will take my money to a, to the government and they will give me 10 times my money. Done. Bill, they'll do that 100%. Okay. I take the bill and go buy 3 billion. A billion dollars will buy 3 or $4 billion of real estate. We could do 4 billion. Wait, what? Four okay, billion. so he's putting a deposit down on $4 billion of real estate. He's taking the bill and he's putting down a 20 20% deposit down on a three to four bill real estate. We're talking bills now. This is how we speak. All right. We shorten it to bills. I don't understand why you're thinking so small. <laughs> I'm curious why you play so small when you have the opportunity. You can, you just came up with the answer in 10 seconds. Yeah. Why wait? Why well, come here? I, got, I came here from a therapy session today. Thank you, Dr. Phil. <laughs> oh my God. Did we just make fucking $6 billion? <laughs> Did we just make money? in our brains? Wait, what? All right, let's look at fucking Nelk podcast. Let's see. What's good money? Pull up your account. 
I, my phone is dead. Okay. What is what is good? Until you can pull up your account, then... Well, give us an idea. Why does it have to be about me? A couple I'm million enough? Voice. Is a couple million enough? Maybe. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Like, nowadays, the, the, the market has been so inflated. That's a oh, Sneeko. I dude, where the fuck did he come from? I feel like I just got sneak attacked by Sneeko. First time his name made sense. I don't... He surprised me. I didn't even know he was in this room. Actually, he could just be photoshopped in. That's insane. You can't just, you like... can't just be funny and have a fucking eight-inch hammer oh, anymore. What the fuck? I know. This is the worst conversation, dude. Um, Why did this get posted to this Twitter? This is all over the place. This barely has to do with finance gurus. Talking do you hate women? No, no. I love are women. you sure? I do. I love women. What's your relationship like with your I mom? I have a great relationship with my mom. My parents are still together, and which is actually really rare. Dude, what the f- <laughs> I could not tell you where that conversation was going. That took so many twists and turns. How much money is a lot of money? I don't know. My parents are still together. Yours? Robin, I appreciate it. I need to think about it. What was it that you needed to think about? I just want to think about it. Price, so he's color, training salespeople. Car, I just want to think. So he's role playing as a customer right now to help this guy play play a salesperson. What's his job? Advanced his job's to advance himself forward. Would you agree? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Tell me anything about it. Listen, Robin, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers. So when you go home, you got something to think about. Would that be fair? Holy That's fuck. It. You said I need to think about it. What did I say? Of course you need to think about it. I said I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. Of course you need to think about it. I didn't even think about him being able to give him time to think about him thinking about it. Holy shit. This guy's a fucking genius. Take all my money. Not paying taxes? Oh, I'm in. What did you write on your letter to the IRS? Thanks for sharing this information. Okay, can you even write a letter to the IRS? Will someone answer? <laughs> no problem. I told the IRS that I am non-taxable. Oh, fuck, you can do that? Internal revenue system? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, revenue, my revenue that you can't have, actually. So, no, no thanks. I'm taxing you. Not the same thing as tax exempt, because if you're tax exempt, you're asking permission to not pay taxes. We don't um, ask permission. But I am non-taxable because I'm a living woman who does not reside in the DC zip code. I sent it as an affidavit, so I gave the IRS ample time to respond to me if they have any rebuttal at all. <laughs> I would love to imagine, I mean, I would call them agents, whatever government employee at the IRS gets that letter. And he's like, yo, guys, take a look at this. Look at this fucking crazy woman. What is she on about? She says she's non-taxable. <laughs> and if I do not get a response, then I assume that you know, it worked. I can continue living out my rights as a non-taxable living woman. Notarized and sent it certified mail. This was... September 3rd of last year. I did not receive a response. Oh, and I also included a W-A-B-E-N that I filled oh, out whoa. with the best of my ability. <laughs> okay, that sounds like you didn't do it correctly, but okay, I don't even know what that is, but it sounds fancy. It sounds, it sounds threatening. A Google Maps printout of my exact coordinates of where I domicile, just to prove that I am not within the DC zip code. And they could find me if they really wanted to. Oh, and another thing is I mentioned that I am not an employee of the state. That's that was the missing link. I was I was wondering about anyway. that. Okay, so that's not gonna work. <laughs> But thanks for the free game. Yo, free game. Fuck yeah. Oh, uh, so sovereign citizen. That was the first fucking thing. Yeah, this is definitely a sovereign citizen. All right, so what is the easiest way to make $10,000 per month? Give it to me. month with Forex trading. Really simple. All you need to do is really simple. $200,000. Fuck. Shit. I mean, it sounds simple, I suppose. Wait, hold on. Let me think back to everything I've learned so far. Okay, I wrote the government already that I'm not a taxable, uh, that I'm a non-taxable woman, living woman. I've already done that. Check. If I take some money in a certain amount and I go to the government, I ask for 10 times that money, they'll give that to me. And I can put 20% down in real estate that may or may not be managed in a Bitcoin blockchain portfolio in Panama, Panama City. And then maybe if I take uh, some money out of that by selling into uh, some kind of market, then I should have the $200,000 I need, I suppose. So in order to do this, you're going to need some help. So this is where you can get something like our EA, which will help you do this automatically. After that, once you're funded, what? Like a what? Like our EA, which will.
Like our EA, like EA Sports, it's in the game or something else. Because I don't think playing more Madden is going to help me. Help you do this automatically. After that, once you're funded, all you really need to do is keep hitting 5% every single month. And that would equate to $10,000 per month. Sounds easy? Because it is. Hell yeah. Just plug it into the Forex system. It'll do the trading for you. Insurance fraud sounds fun, though. Let's go. The guy crashed into my Chevy Cruze. Thanks for the Chevy Spark. Thanks for the M3. Oh. <laughs> so he keeps crashing the new cars. Thanks for the M4. Oh my god, whoa! <laughs> to the strange fire that took my M4. <laughs> Thanks for the I8. Oh, that's a huge upgrade. Mmm, to the mysterious lake that ate the I8. Wow. But he's always in the neck brace too. This one doesn't even make sense because it was just in the lake. Why would he have a neck brace for this one? Thanks for the Aventura. This account's great. All right, let's do one more. Last one. A day in the life of the TikTok investor. Let's go. Cool. How much you made, Noah? 9300 $100. Dude, you know if you're in that room right now and they're going around, people are lying. <laughs> people, I bet you, like, I don't know who put this event together of these day traders hanging out, but I know for a fact not all of them are up on the day and somebody's fucking lying. And they're like, oh shit, fuck, he's up 2K. Uh, uh, he's up 3K. Uh, what's a reasonable number that doesn't make it look like I'm lying? I'm up a mild 700 in the last few hours. Who else made something good? Low 1200 low 1200 low 1200 <laughs> Dude on his phone in the corner, just checking the weather on his phone. Uh, yeah, uh, twelve hundred dollars over here. Yep, don't look. No, don't get the fuck away. From, yep, I, I have it. I fucking do, yeah. Oh, he made the money and literally was able to cash it out in the last few hours too. He made the physical money. That guy's a real hustler. Goddamn. Oh, hey. Were those singles? Those were singles. There's a single. There's a one dollar bill. Oh. Another wreck, you just dropped 20 singles and you picked them back up and dropped 20 more singles. So in conclusion, I am the only financial guru you can trust. Take that to the grave with you. And don't forget to buy that real estate in Panama. Panama. And don't forget to buy that real estate in Panama. <laughs>